Hi guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on the brick and mortar workflow, which is all about architecture photography. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can use the tools in this workflow to enhance the color and light to enhance detail within your architecture photography. So I have a picture pulled up, but I'm just going to go ahead and start. And we're going to be starting with some of the presets and then move on to the brushes. When you're dealing with light, the best place to start is either with your base presets or your exposure presets. So I'm going to start with the base presets for this photograph and I'm going to be using the base good start for cityscapes. So as you can see that's already added a bunch of contrast and light to the photograph and enhanced the color. The next place I'm going to go is to my exposure presets so I can brighten the shadows on this. So now I'm going to move into the brushes. I've only applied two presets, but already you can see it makes a huge difference. So the brushes are what really are going to enhance the light and color details in the photograph. So I'm going to be starting with an exposure brush. And I'm going to be using the exposure contrast brush. And I'm using that just on the buildings here. So I just want to enhance the contrast. And we're, so we're just going to kind of add a greater distance between the lights and darks in the photograph. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new. The next brush I'm going to use is the Enhanced Clouds brush. This is really great if you have a photograph that has, you know, really nice skyline. It just enhances the contrast within the clouds and provides a little bit of a greater detail here. I'm going to hit new one more time. Second brush I'm going to be using is a temperature brush and I'm going to be using the temperature cooler. And I'm using that just to kind of bring out the blue in the sky here because I really am looking to enhance the color in the photograph. All right, so I'm going to use one more brush. This brush is um, special to this workflow. It is the window reflections brush. So you can adjust the size of your brush down here if you'd like, or I use the bracket keys on my computer, it's just a shortcut. And I'm going to be using this basically in all these windows here to enhance the reflections. It's kind of a tedious thing to sit here and highlight all the windows, but as you'll see, some of these reflections have details of other buildings, and that really actually brings out the detail within the photograph to just kind of highlight them. So you just kind of have to sit here and you don't have to do every single window, of course, but you just want to get the ones that have major detail in them. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do for that brush and for brushes all together. The last thing I'm going to do is I want to enhance the color even more because I think the color in these buildings is really great and it should really stand out. So I'm going to use a polish preset and I'm going to be using the Make It Pop. Alright, so you can see the before and after. As you can see, we enhanced the contrast, the color, and the light, and it's just made a great improvement to the photograph and given it a much more polished and professional look. All right, so I'm gonna move on to another photograph now. So as I mentioned before, the best place to start is with your base or exposure presets, especially if you have a photograph that is backlit from the sun and you're losing a lot of detail in the buildings in your photograph. So I'm going to start with a base preset and I'm going to be using the details enhancer. So like it did with the other photograph, it's just already improved the details by upping the shadows and changed the contrast and added a lot of color as well. The one thing I'm going to do is just turn the clarity down. So these presets are one click edits but you can adjust them. So I'm going to adjust the clarity because it's a little too high for me. Next thing I'm going to do is go down to my tone presets and I'm going to be choosing the warmer just to add a little bit of a warmer tone and balance it out. Alright, so I'm moving on to my brushes now to work on the details here. So we're talking about light details, so I'm going to go and use an exposure brush and I'm going to be using the brighter shadows. And I'm basically going to use this brush all along these buildings here just to kind of brighten the shadows, which will allow more detail to show through. A 
Again, we're going to use the Enhance brush for the clouds. So as you can see, it shows up kind of dark. It's almost a little too dark for this photograph. But just like the presets that you can adjust, you can also adjust the brushes. So I can go in here and push the exposure up a little bit and the highlights up as well. And that will kind of lighten the brush up as well so that it's not too dark. All right, so now we're talking about color details. I'm gonna use a new brush. This brush comes in a lot of our workflows, um, but it's especially useful in this one. So if you open up your brushes, you're gonna see a add golden sun brush. And I'm just gonna basically just kind of use that just vaguely right around here to kind of add some of this golden color back into the sunset that's going on in the background. I'm gonna hit new. I'm using one more brush now. I'm gonna be using a temperature drop temperature brush using the warmer one and I'm basically going to be using that on the buildings here to kind of enhance the warm tone that would be coming from the sun. As you can see the photograph has a lot of blue in it and opposite blue on the color wheel is yellow or orange like a warmer tone so adding this warmer tone here just really kind of balances out the blue in the sky. I am going to slightly turn the saturation down so it's not as strong of a warmer color. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do for this photograph, so I'll show you the before and after. So as you can see, we made a very large improvement. We've brought all the detail back into the buildings. We've added color into the sunset and back in the sky and overall just improved the photograph. So here's the before and the after. All right, so moving on to the third photograph. So this photograph's inside. As you can see, it's in near a subway, and it's very dark. So for this one, I'm going to go right to my exposure presets, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the brighter preset and then the brighter shadows, which is going to greatly improve the light in the photograph. The next thing I'm going to do is use a polish preset, just sharpening to sharpen the photo up a little bit, and I'm going to add the more clarity as well. So to enhance the light and color details on here, I'm going to use the brushes. The brushes are probably the best way. They give you the most control to enhance color and detail. So we're going to be using the brush that is specific to this workflow called City Lights. Normally you would use this to enhance lights on cityscapes, but what I'm going to use it for is to enhance the light on these windows as the subway goes by and the light in the tunnel here, which is really going to kind of draw your eye along this leading line where the subway is right into the tunnel. So that's all I'm going to use for that. The next thing I'm going to do is just go into my basic tab and I'm going to slightly up the exposure a little bit, not very much, and the contrast as well. All right, so here's the before and after. Same thing as with the other two photographs. The light has improved and the contrast, color, everything. So you can see how this really can enhance the details in your architecture photography. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself with your own workflows.